Alright, what's up, y'all? Today we got a presentation about Rude Foster. I'm Khalil Baker. I'm Jay Lunsford. Yeah. Here's a little video we got for you. Andrew Foster, also known as Rude Foster, was born September 17, 1879, in Calvert, Texas. He was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1981. He also established the Negro League in 1920. But people don't know he was a dropout in the eighth grade. Then he went on to pitch for the local Waco Yellow Jacks. In 1902, Rule joined the Chi-Town Union Giants, and that's Chicago for you that don't know. But he also then later signed with the interracial semi-pro team out of Sega, Michigan. Foster then led his new team to a 51-4 season in 1905. And this word that goes around is John McGraw, manager of the NY Giants, sought out for Foster to instruct the NY pitchers because he was known as a pitcher guru. But Andrew Foster, also known as Rude, they say he won his name from a victory over Hall of Fame Rude Waddell. And Frank Chance of the Cubs said it was the most finished product he had ever seen test him out. Honus Wagner said he was the greatest pitcher of all time. He was also a player manager for Leland Giants in 1907, but he suffered a leg injury in 1909 leading to a championship loss. After the championship loss, Foster put together his own team in 1910. Foster signed former Leland and Philly Giants to assemble the Chicago American Giants. He managed and pitched for them and ended up with an overall record of 128 wins and 6 losses. In 1911, Foster sought out and gained partnership with White Sox owner Charles Kaminsky's son-in-law, John Scoglin. Scoglin let Foster's team play at the White Sox Stadium. In 1915, he focused less on pitching, but more on front office and coaching. His last appearance on the mound was in 1917. In 1919, violence up war in black community, Foster seen it as a window. During his first years as manager and owner of the American Giants, he won the first three pennants, but he would not have much success after. The gruesome baseball schedule caused Foster to have a nervous breakdown, and four years later, Foster died of a heart attack. And so did the Negro Baseball League, said fellow Negro League's players, manager, and owner, Joe Green. All right, y'all. That was our video. Those are our facts. Yeah. I'm Khalil Baker. I'm Jay Lunsford. That's our video. Oh.